this is my first hammer tutorial. Uh, today we're gonna, we're gonna teach you how to make custom import custom sounds, custom textures, and custom models into your level. And we're gonna get right into it. If you want to go for textures or models, then please go to the time that's provided. Anyhow, we're gonna get right into it. And welcome back, we are currently in game, in the uh, map I made, and this will be the sound you're going to hear, it is a little loud, so just turn down volume. Uh, it's uh, with custom sound making an alarm. Alright, now that you've seen what we're going to make in-game with the custom sound, let's get started. Okay, so, uh, once you get your audio, whatever you want to use, uh, you might, you have to open Audacity. Once you're in Audacity, place in your sound, whatever you're using, and, uh, do know sound does take up a lot of storage in your map so i suggest not adding too much co uh, custom content it has to be this amount of hertz and you're gonna have to export it as a mp3 file and there is a certain uh i'm not sure what it's called i'll provide it in the link below that you have to install into your audacity to export as an mp3 but i'll provide it in the link below as i just said uh once you do that you're good to go. Let me cancel that. Then you have your sound wherever you did place it. And you're gonna go to your drive wherever you keep your steam. And program files, steam, steam apps, common. And go to your whatever game you're using. I'm using Gary's mod. And you're gonna place it in your sound folder. Once you place it in your sound, I suggest making a folder in it and that might be a little better for organization now you're just going to copy that over and uh, put an ambient generic once you have that uh, you can go to browse and click a raw and that will provide you with the raw files and just look up the folder that you have i put it in uss alexis which is the app i'm doing and it's going to be right there. You won't be able to hear it or preview it. Uh, timer is stupid that way. However, you click OK. And then you have the sound. Alright, and that's how you do custom sound. Alright, I am back. And we're going to be learning how to import textures. And I'm going to be importing this texture of scares. And, uh... Textures have to, uh, uh, Hammer Source has a very limited amount of what the, what, what the size has to be, and as you can see the size is on the screen right now, and it has to be one of these and it can be any combination of these, it just has to be those numbers, so I made mine 512 by 512 as you can see, and uh, yeah we're going to be importing a picture of Scarce. Now, I'm going to make a folder in my, in here, I'm just going to call it textures, just for organization reasons. Now, I'm just going to save my image to here, and uh, let's be JPEG. I'm just going to call it scarce uh the jpeg image name doesn't matter it's what you name the vmf and vmt now you're gonna have to get vtf edit i'll provide the link below now uh once you have vt uh, VMF, uh vtf edit go to import and you're just gonna put in the picture that you had Also, I do suggest using 512 by 512 or 256 by 256 
it's just easier and more malleable to uh, use in Hammer. Okay, so once you have this image, you're going to click Save As, and we're just going to call it Scarce. This is the name that matters. Now, once you have that, two files should pop up. If not, I th uh, you go to Options, you click Auto Create VMT File, and uh, you'll have two files. And the VMT is what matters. Now, you could, uh, whenever you put it into your materials folder, which we're going to do soon, you could uh, have a folder like this next to it, but I'm lazy and unorganized, so I'm just gonna just gonna name it that. So if you are like me and you're lazy and unorganized, you're just gonna put the name of the image. You're just gonna click save. Now, I'm gonna go back to your Gears mod folder, and you're gonna click on materials. Now, as you can see, like I said, I'm lazy, and I just put everything in here, but I mean, like I said, you can add a folder. Now, just copy and paste that into here, and when you reopen your uh, hammer, alright, and I'm just going to add a huge picture of scarce alright now to adding custom models I have found a model on this workshop I'm going to be using this as an example I already have it downloaded once you uh, subscribe to the add-on, uh, make sure to open Gary's mod, let that load. Once you have that, I, sug uh, I do suggest getting Geomat Extractor, unless you have a different extractor program. However, that's the one I use, and that's the one that works best. As well as, if you get the files directly, maybe from a friend or on a website, you won't need this. But if you're downloading it from Gary's mod, then you're going to need this. Now, I'm going to open up this Geomat Extractor. And normally what you would do when you open this up is you would open the program, go to your files, and click open, and uh, go to your uh, Gmod files, and you would find the add-on. But I already have mine here. Now what you would find in here is your add-ons. And I have the sci-fi rifles right there. So what you would do is you just convert all those to a folder. And you have your materials and your models. Now, for the models, what you're going to do is go to the models folder in Gary's mod. And then you go to the models folder here. Okay. And then you just see, see these two folders, you just copy them in. And obviously I already have them, so I'm going to cancel. And once you have that, you're going to go to your materials folder. And go to the materials folder here. And it says to go models. Or you can just put it in and merge them. But I'm, I, I don't know. Anyways, go to models and then just copy that in. But I already have that in there. Once you have that, you can open up your hammer. You're going to have to restart hammer if you were in hammer. And... Uh, Go to your map. Now you can see if I go to drop static. As you can see, there it is. There's the gun. And uh, yeah, so that's how to install custom content. And, uh, for your source SDK. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.